Kia ora everyone and welcome back to the Martin Show. You're with Zeki Man and Hakopa. Welcome to episode eight. We're Almost back. We're at... back. We're back. Almost at double digits. Double, <laughs> double digits. There. We'll be in the top three percent of podcasts soon. Oh. Is that over ten or twenty one? I think it's twenty one. Oh. <laughs> we have 12 to go Hey, hey, hey By the end of the year We'll be there yeah. We'll be there soon uh, We're at episode 8 Final Before we start We just want to say A massive Happy Mother's Day To all the mothers Out to there And happy Mother's Day To all the Solo fathers Out mm. there too we got a special Episode today Usually it's just the uh, Hokupa and I. Usually it's Jakey and I on our or even 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 numbers um, But today We have a Very very special guest. Very special guest. Person we hold close to our heart. We're a little bit, we're a little bit like weary of bringing her on. What's the word you just used? Apprehensive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we were oh. a little bit apprehensive about bringing, um, bringing this person on, but we think, you know, she's a part of our life. Mm. Um, there's not millions of people viewing the podcast as of yet. Mm. <laughs> so <laughs> I think this, we'll be able to look back on this episode and be like, and 40 years, look back on it, we'll hold, we'll hold it close, you know? Bro. Well, if you think about it, how long we bring you on? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're going to mention Oh, bro, even now I'm a little bit like, oh. We are bringing on, probably, if you're thinking about guests, <laughs> like you think about guests, we talk about guests, probably the most, man, special, important, significant, all those sorts of words. That, that the guest, most. Yeah. The most. We're bringing on our mumsy. Bringing on our beautiful <laughs> Mama mama. Martin, the, uh, the, the lady, the individual who actually carries, carry who we get our name from, the Martin show. And so, who birthed us and who's raised us and has done everything. Yeah. So, Mother's Day special. Mother's Day special episode, team. Episode eight. Before we bring mum on, Jakey and I are going to have a quick quarter. Or we're, having, we're thinking about like, man, what is a... What's a topic that interrelates with mm. us, mum, like all that sort of stuff? And Jake and I actually said the same thing, which was, I thought it was pretty cool. And uh, do you want to feed it in? Upbringing in childhood. Childhood. Yo. Childhood. It's, yeah. I think childhood, it's a, it's a buzzy yarn. Like, if you think about yarn. it, because you and I have never ever spoken about childhood. Our childhood or your childhood, my child, like even your friends. Mm. Like I, I, bro, I don't know. It's just a topic that you don't really speak about. You, it's, a, it's your past. So you mm. don't really bring it up too much. And you might even be like involved or included in your friend's childhood, but it's just something you don't talk about. Mm. So I'm actually kind of like bro, I'm intrigued. To it. Yeah. I mean, you don't look like, I've, I've even been thinking about like memories and stuff and yeah. like, and it makes me feel happy <laughs> yeah. like thinking about memories of like yeah, our bro. childhood because it was a good childhood, you know. Well, it, let's let's dive in. How um, I was just about to say like, and I think it's a good point. I was about to say how was our childhood, but I think the question that needs to be said is how was your childhood? Because mm. our experiences might be completely different. Like mm. I'm not you, you're not me. Like your childhood might have been amazing, mine might have been freaking terrible, or vice versa. You know what I mean? So. How, um, yeah, how, how was your childhood? I think overall, my childhood was awesome. Mm -hmm. When I look back on my childhood, it was full of love. It was full of us two with mum, our beautiful cousins, mm. camping, you know, just full of love. I look back on it and I'm like, makes me happy. I feel like it shaped me to the person I am today. Mm. Our childhood, we were, yeah, we were raised around love. I feel like we we're only really around love. Obviously, there's been past times, mm. seen, seen, you know, some whatever, some bad stuff, but I think ultimately it's been pretty, pretty cool childhood. Bro, I was just going to say, like, we've had, I guess you could call it, like, everything, eh? Mm. Like, as you said, everything, and I mean, um, you know, we always had a, a roof. We always, mum always made sure there was um, kai provided. Mm. But you can also say, when I say we had everything, bro, we also had the, uh, the growlings, mm. the, the hiding, yeah, you the know. Fights. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We had and the good and the bad. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I think like childhood, bro, I think like big and bold, like bright. I think um, orange mouth guard. I don't know. Like, I think like Tat Roosters. Yeah, Jack Colvin comes <laughs> into my thing. Tat Roosters, bro. Quiet Street. Yeah. Uh, like, I Red think, Beach, yeah. camping. <laughs> bro, that's what I mean. Bro. I think loud. Mm. I think, you know, cheering. I think, um, as you said, but overall, love. Surrounded. We were surrounded by so oh, much utter high. 100%. Where would you go back if you could like pinpoint one place 
in your childhood that like pings in your brain, what would that be? If I'd love to go back? Mm. Oh man, it's like, bro, when I think about, I, there's, there's, there's two point of views I have. I, I'm like, I, I don't think it's a, uh, it's a very healthy thing to always look back if you want to go back into a certain time of your life. It's mm. good to view your past, but I, I wouldn't think about it too much in regards to like, I want to, I want to go back here. You know what I mean? Mm. Um, I'm meaning just like a joyful moment you remember. Yeah. You know, yeah. Like, Whoa. Yeah. Well, bro, that makes you feel good. Yeah. The, the, my other point of it, like, I don't think it's a healthy thing looking back too much, but what I think of when I'm like, I think it'd be nice to feel certain experiences again, you know, feel things twice. Like, mm. bro, I remember the first time I learned how to drive manual. And that feeling when you've cracked it, the first time riding a bike, the first time, like, you know, doing all those sorts of stuff, like the first experiences of something, mm. like, bro, my first ever school disco mm. or graduation. And you're like, you get that, like, excitement feeling. First school disco, first kiss. Yeah, <laughs> bro. First kiss, getting yeah. in trouble because you kissed this. I'll this never forget, forget it, bro. Mum was um, <laughs> at Red Beach, bro, on the hill. Bro, Michelle, cousin Michelle, was so mad at me after. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, and the, hey, bloody, and the bloody pipes. <laughs> and the pipes. I remember that. Bro, and you know what's crazy? It happened, the kiss. Bro, I stood up. She was still sitting down. And I ran down the hill. I was like, ah, hey. I thought I just won the lotto. But I feel like everyone, a lot of people's first kiss would have been at a school disco. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bro, you know, like, oh, you, you know, year six. Maybe. But then now, now looking back on this, like the first experiences when as a child or, you know, as, as kids, why can't we carry that into our life now? You know, that's what I, I think it's a, that's a beautiful realization, even like now, like thinking about this, why aren't we chasing um, new experiences now? You know, mm. like whatever they may be, like, I don't know, man, you could, you could bloody try anything. Let's, mm. <laughs> you know, probably everyone probably thinking here, like, all the listeners might be thinking like, hey, psychedelics or like, or, yeah, like yeah. you know, or that sort of room, but bro, new experiences in general. I just think as a young kid, you're so like free as well. Yeah. You know, you don't know any better. Oh. And I feel like we were like, maybe the age gap of like this new technology, you know, like the young kids now, I feel like we just missed that. Brother. Like, but we're in it now. Mm. But I feel like we just missed like going out and playing. You know, when you say like looking back in the child, I look back, Quiet street oh. around the cul-de-sac. <laughs> See, me and Zach were lucky enough to live in a street where like our neighbors, Maya, do you remember Giovanni? Yeah. <laughs> Seven A Quiet Street. One baby. Other, like we had a basketball hoop and like everyone would come play at our hoop oh and would hang God. out as a street. Scooter gang. Near the trust stadium, walking <laughs> yeah. down the alleyway. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Well, honestly, when you uh, when we when we brought up this topic of childhood, or as you said, it was actually so beautiful mm. to even do a little bit of study within yourself and go back. Mine is like, it's not, you know, we're listing all these different moments, the scootering, the, um, the, the cul-de-sac, all that sort of stuff. But for me, bro, it's like the feeling mm. of being a child again. Like as a child, bro, you got like no responsibilities, you know? And, mm. but I don't know, there's multiple views on that. Like having no responsibilities, now we got responsibilities. But as a kid, you're just so, you're just so joyful. You're mm. so playful. I, I remember seeing a quote recently and it's like a four-year-old laughs 400 times a day. A 40-year-old laughs four times four a day. Times, yeah. You know, like, I don't know, bro. And I think, well, we as adults, we should try and carry that child yeah. all the way through, you know? Speaking of that, do you feel like, like that inner child yarn? Like I know we've talked about it. Mm. Do you... Like, how do you, how do you feel about like, you know, mm -hmm. I remember you talking about you, you had an experience of when you like saw your inner child and it made you feel some type of way. Like what, what, how did that make you feel like? Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh weird. yeah. And a child, it's, um, I would actually love, and I would encourage anyone listening to, to give this a go. Oh, she the cordy Uh, in a child, I did it in acting class, bro. It was in, this was the year of COVID. It was a few years ago now. I think it was 2019, 2020, maybe the year before COVID. And um, it was in a voice acting class. And in a child work, it's actually like a tool that 
individuals use in personal development, like healing. Mm. Um, but I was like, I don't know, 19, 20. I'd never even heard about this. Or I was like, what is this? You know, I was that was my mindset towards it. And anyway, we're in this acting class and there's probably like 10 to 15 other students, other actors, and all sitting around, all sitting around, we're learning about this voice element. And we go sort of, it's all, it's a lot of it is imagination, visualization, you know, it's on, it's all your own thoughts and stuff. And we're sitting down in a chair, bro, as, as a class. And we have a teacher instructing us, helping us, literally, bro, going within, closing your eyes, getting very, very uh, just quiet, at peace within yourself. And as you said, quiet street, and you just see, you just try and go back to to finding that, that, that inner child. Mm -hmm. And I'd never done it before. And as you said, quiet street, bro, immediately, I found the little Zaki straight away. It was, it was, it was so buzzy, bro. And it was, it was buzzy for me because I, I broke down instantly. Like, <laughs> I would say within maybe like, 30 seconds to a minute, like instantly, seven at Quiet Street. I went back to, I, I, everything was visual, completely. I saw him, I saw him at the back playing and it was like, That's buzzy, it eh? was buzzy, it was cool. crazy. It was beautiful. Yo. It was- Did you um, cry in a way of like, we like really like, I'll be like joyfully crying, eh? I'll be honest, bro. It was like, cause I hadn't even learned about, like I didn't really know too much about what trauma was or what, any of those sorts of things were. Mm. Um, and it was mainly for me seeing myself back in the day and kind of thinking like having a cordial with them and being like, bro, like this is, you're gonna, you're gonna be on this roller coaster of a waka, bro. Like, mm. but you're gonna be all good. Yeah. You know, it was like me like reassuring my younger self mm. that no matter, you like, you're gonna, things are gonna happen. You're gonna be safe. It was kind of just like a tour kind of to a tainer felt like yeah. um to a big brother to a to a little brother but yeah bro it was a it was a it was a beautiful experience and not even just for my acting because it showed me that I could I could I could go to those sorts of places but even just for myself at at 20 years old I was like it showed it revealed to me that I hadn't I, you know there was parts of me that I haven't even tapped into yet mm. or discovered it was a very, very uh, eye-opening experience. And I remember- I remember I, you telling me about it. Yeah, bro. You were Josh Jolene, right? Yeah, Josh Jolene. Yeah, yeah, he shared that with he, him. He can vouch for me, oh, bro. Yeah, send this to him, he'll be like, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> he will even feel something. Yeah, oh, bro. bro, it was, yeah, it was, it was, it was honestly like, it was life-changing. It, 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 that experience, it wasn't life-changing. As we're talking about new experiences, that was a new experience for me. And it, it changed the way that I, um, I view it in a child for sure. But I would recommend, yeah, I would recommend anyone Bro, I'd even, bro, I'd even recommend you. Like, I only thought to experiencing it. Like, yeah. I, do you feel like you have to be in a place of peace to experience it? I think it would, it would help to be just in a quiet, in a, in a quiet space. Or like you in your mind frame. Like, oh, do you feel like yeah. you have to be in a peaceful place or you can just go, you can tap into it? Honestly, bro, I, I, I wouldn't say, I was in a, we were in a voice class. Yeah. So I was in a voice class. I didn't class. expect it at all. Bro, we're, we're running around the room going, <laughs> you know, like we're, we're screaming, Big brother. You're like, hey. Are you? <laughs> I love you. <laughs> so you better cut that yeah. out, Diane. <laughs> little Zach might come out and bring it to like this. All right, good question. Do you remember little Jake? Do I remember little Jake? Because I don't really remember little Zach, G. Oh yeah, Danny. Exactly, bro. Well, I actually do remember Little Jake. Well, when I I don't even really remember Little Jake. Like, I remember Little Jake, but like, bro, that's why I, th I would recommend it, bro. Yo, like, cause you don't know, you you don't know if you mm. remember Little Jake, cause you've never ever tried. I look back at Little Jake, like I don't know. I see a little happy little frigate, you know? Yeah. Just ah, uh, I, I see a little shit to yo. <laughs> Handsome little shit. <laughs> <laughs> but um, nah, but no, people, it. bro, like I've only really tried in a child this experience, the, uh, this um, method or tool, whatever you want to use. I've only ever tried it probably, I'd say like three to five times in my life. Mm. Bro, people do it like on a fortnightly, weekly basis. I've they seen a few things that people say tap into it. They do it all the time, bro. They do it like, mm. a, like, like it's meditation. They, they use it like, like that. Mm. I, I have never had the same experience as I did that first time. Mm. All my, but all, all those sorts of experiences are kind of like, 
beautiful things, you know, or just, I don't know. It's kind of like you learning more about yourself mm. in a way. Moving um, on from that, do you, on the topic of Mother's Day, mm. what's the best gift you feel like you've given mom? Or like, it could be birthdays, but no, it doesn't have to be Mother's Day. Given? Given. <laughs> bro, honestly, bro, I actually, like, if you're talking about giving, giving, I was thinking about this. You say what I'm, if you say what I'm thinking, G, go, go, nah, go, go. No, 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 no. I was actually <laughs> just gonna, uh, I was gonna give my, um, give myself a little tap on the tap on the shoulder. I feel like I've always tried like to give mum give mum something. You what know? I was thinking was like, I reckon mum's probably got about 30 candles from us in her case. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really? Because her birthday's in February, she got a caramel candle in February. <laughs> Mother's Day, she got a chocolate candle. And then Christmas, she got a fucking lime one. Gee, <laughs> he's like, back in the day, bro, would pay twi like 20 bucks each or bro. something. So when you're talking about what's the best, I, this is what I, I was going to say the same day. Oh, but the best gift I think I've ever given mum would have been those days back when when... You would have been young, mm, bro. And I used to make you like a card from school, like, yeah. or like a painting from school. And you would have been like eight, nine years old, I reckon. Mm. And I would have been like, you know, 11, 12, those sort of age. And bro, I got to give props to all our aunties for always, you know, for giving us, you know, here's 20 bucks to go get that candle mm. or whatever. I remember going to like Spotlight. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Going to Spotlight, they didn't have it the water for it. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was, and we'd always give them, but I reckon, honestly, and then, you know, as we've gotten older, Bro, give them, um, you know, rings, Ring, necklaces, yeah. all that sort of stuff. But I would still say those candles. Sentimental, eh? Hey. Bro, those are the, those are, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what mum says, what her best gift she's ever received from us. Because even all the, even all the stuff we made is still around home. And you look around and, yeah. you know, the stuff we made from our class in like year five. Yeah. Yeah. I remember like. I used to love making mum presents. Like, yeah. It was like Mother's Day, I'd make her the coolest card. Yeah. And I used to love her reaction, like, yeah. oh, thank you, son. <laughs> but she probably actually thought, like, like it's just a card. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. But I used to love getting the reaction from mum. Like, yeah. Oh, thank you. I know exactly what I mean. put in so much effort. Oh, bro, bro, even now to this day, that's <laughs> what I mean. Like, the little, even the little... The little last thing she does now. I mean, let's not dive into that too much before she jumps on. She might be in. Do you reckon she's nervous? She's definitely nervous. <laughs> she's definitely nervous. Okay, jumping into um, jumping into another, I guess, uh, childhood question. Do you think that childhood is? You mentioned it briefly. Do you, how or if? How do you think it shaped you to who you are? Who you are today, the Jake today? Um. <laughs> well, I think. I think childhood shapes a lot of people. It doesn't make someone, but I think it shapes you. Like if you raised well, you're going to end up being a good person. Mm. You know, I feel like we were raised well and I feel like I'm a good person, mm. like deep down in my heart, you know? So like, yeah, it's not to say if you're a bad childhood, you can't, you know, you can't shape yourself to be that. Indeed. But I think, I think it shapes you yeah. definitely. But 100% shapes you. Great it shaped us. But yeah, the fact of I think, I think we're doing good things. Mm. I think we're good people. At the end of the day, we're good people. Yeah. So, you know, like over a podcast or friggin' boxing or whatever, at the end of the day, you've got to be a good person. Yeah. So, uh, I feel like we are good people. Yeah, bro. That's beautiful. I'm very, very similar. And I learned that David Goggins has a um, saying, and he says, nothing's permanent. Yeah. So, like, you could have, you could have had the, the worst childhood ever, you know, you could have had no parents or no love or whatever, but you could still become, because you haven't felt that you could still become this beautiful, loving individual. It could be the opposite. You could have had everything as a child, the love, the this, mm. the that. You could have ended up becoming an asshole, mm. you know, in, in adulthood. Um, so I, I think you're right. I, nothing's permanent. I don't think that Although childhood helps mold and shape an individual, I do not think that it is the deciding the factor that how they're going to end up, you know, the way they end up. And I think, I think also overall, like who we bring into the world, like from what we've experienced, mm. I'd love them to experience similar, similar way to me being brought up. Yeah, Yo, you're talking about um, Tomodiki, like our, your, your own oh, my child. Own, my own ch children. Yeah, bro. Like, I'd love, like, you know, you have your own children. I'd love to them have, you know, like we're, we're talking about childhood yeah. and childhood experiences. Yeah. Like, are surrounded by love as well, you know. For sure, going camp, little camping trips mm. here and there. Eh? Oh, bro. Mm. Now nah, it's been good. 
as we always say, though, a few years away. <laughs> your your mum, <laughs> hurry up, son. <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> um, final question, Doggo. Final question. Do you think? Do you think that we, you and I, Zach and Jake, do you think that we are or have been good sons? Good children. Definitely, yes. Yeah, I think we've definitely been good sons. I think I, I'll speak for me personally. I've given mum like, you know, given mum some shit over the years. <laughs> like just like, <laughs> like, that's one thing I regret. Honestly, like giving mum, like just through my schooling, like being an egg, they'd probably say, that's what I'll say is like, how I haven't been a good child. You know, I was a little shit. Bro. Mom, was, <laughs> my, mom used to get called from like my, like my teachers, like, I don't know almost every second day <laughs> um, and she used to hate her you know so like as a young kid I didn't realize that now mm. I wish I didn't do that mm. but I think ultimately we've always supported her um together yeah I think we've always supported her and been good sons and yeah try to be the best sons I feel like we can definitely support her more mm. um way more and I would like, yeah, we can do way more. But also I think we're, we haven't been very good sons. Yeah. I um, I was going to, because we we will have a corridor separate on its own of schooling. Mm. I'm looking forward to having having that yarn. But I do want to share this yarn since we are talking about, and it is Mother's Day, and I think it might be um, <laughs> good for some mums to hear this. But I, I, wanna, I don't even know if you remember this. I've told you this. <laughs> but Brian, intermediate. I got stood down from school. I got suspended from school. Um, and I remember this vividly, bro. I got stood down <laughs> for videoing a fight. <laughs> bro, actually, oh, Falcon. Oh, bro. Oh. Yeah, I, I think it was Mac. Mac, Mac and Falcon. Yeah, yes. Oh, bro, this is, this is like, this is old, this is old school. 13 year olds. But I remember filming it, got the film. Running, running up and down. I got the fight. I got the fight. The teacher's behind me. Whoop. I'll take that. Thank you. Bro, this British lady. I can't remember what her name was. Anyway, I got stood down. I'm walking home. Still at Quiet Street. We're still at Quiet Street. Bro, I was shitting my undies. Bro, I don't know. I was like, yes. my mom, I don't know what she's going to do to me. I don't know if she's going to, you know, slap me or, you know, whatever. Bro, I walk into the house, Quiet Street, walk into the house. It's dark as all the curtains are closed. I'm like, oh, shit, walking in. Bro, mum's sitting on the couch. She's just like, teary. But like, it's kind of like those, not the, it's it's the, you know, the angry. disappointment, angry tears. And I'm just saying, these, I remember, oh, bro, I'll never forget it. She goes, I never thought I'd have a son that would have been stood down from school. <laughs> oh, gee. And I remember straight away, oh, that's what I, no. <laughs> this is me, bro. I just started crying, bro. I'll never, bro. You wait to bring mum on. I'll see if she remembers us caught it. All, I remember, like, because we used to walk home together, obviously, for and you were in at school. So I remember mm. walking home one day. Mum, I think mum took time off while you were stood down. I remember getting, I have a memory of me getting home one day yeah. and you guys were cooking her ginger crunch. <laughs> you were baking her ginger crunch. Bro, the last day of my yeah. suspension, she took me out for lunch. Yeah. She took me out for lunch. But she, I was, like pretty sure I was grounded. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, was pretty, I, was, I was pretty much grounded um, for that week. But to answer the question, I think you're right. I think we're definitely, bro, I'm not meaning to like do the whole comparison called it or like comparing to other sons and whatnot. No, yeah. But I think mum would even be able to vouch like, nah, we've, we've definitely, we've definitely been, been good as good. Good sons. We haven't, we haven't been, you know, we're ups and downs like any any children. But I, I think she'll be able to vouch and be like, no, no, no. All day. My boys are good boys. <laughs> Hard out. How do you feel? Is it, should we, are you ready to bring her on? Mama, you bring ready? her on? Oh. Ready, mom? Oh, let's go. Mom's day. Let's we go. got our, our guest number four. <laughs> guest number four. <laughs> our first. <laughs> our first. And why in there? Mom's actually yeah. our first female guest on the show, and oh, I should be. Yes, I know it's not um, it's not Mother's oh, Day mom. today, but when this episode drops, Mum, it will be Mother's Day. So, an early Happy Mother's Day, Mum. Welcome to the Martin Show. Thank you for having welcome, me. Mama. Ooh, I feel weird saying welcome. welcome to the Martin Show. <laughs> yeah. My mother's like in the Martin, exactly. 
Um, how do you feel, Mummy? Nervous or? Very nervous. Yeah. Because you guys are just so good at this now. <laughs> You're getting this, better. You've got, yeah, no, you've got this little mode going on. You're both so relaxed. You talk well. It's just awesome. Love it. What are your thoughts on um, on, on the pod? Are you, are you, are you a... Oh, at first I was a little bit like, oh, what the heck, another podcast. But to be honest, you are doing so good. Your topics are amazing. You actually make me laugh all the time. Like I'll be watching it and just having a good laugh, having a good cry sometimes as well. But um you yeah, know, you make me proud. You guys are doing really, really good. Oh, she's our mum. She's supposed yeah. to say that, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. No. <laughs> Shall we start? We'll start with the game. Explain the game. We, um, me and Zach, it's a, it's a basically like who knows mum better. Yeah. Um, it's not like a competition, <laughs> but we thought it'd be fun to see mum. We got mum to um, write down a few questions that maybe we don't know. That Jake and I actually yeah. have no idea. Oh, you don't know the questions? No, we don't know, know the know questions. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, you well, might not. You don't know. Yeah, we'll go quick fire. We'll go quick fire. Do you want to say, are you going to use Jake or I'll use my name, Zach? I'll go Jake. Okay. I'll go Zach. Okay. All right, Mum, when, okay. when you're ready. First one is, um, where is my go-to place if I'm feeling anxious or sad, needing time to reflect? Jake. Oh, she didn't even finish, but you know, you go, you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to pinpoint the spot. Popper's house. On the deck. A little bit more precise. On uh, on Nana's chair. Yeah. We'll go. We'll go. We'll go. We'll go. Yeah, we'll go. We'll no, go. Half that's the question. Fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's fair. Half age. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually Nana's chair that faces out to the water. So no, no, yes. no. We'll, we'll, we'll both take that. That's uh, okay. no, You've been okay. up there recently quite a bit, eh? Yes. Lots of time. Yeah. Lots of mm. time to reflect. Lots of, I love it up there. It actually fills my heart. Mm. So it's good. Okay. What? Um, what are my icks? Zach, eating with your mouth full. <laughs> Is that one of them? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've, got quite, I've got quite a few works. Yeah, yeah, more. yeah. yeah. <sighs> I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that. What is mum's ex? Um, do you want to have a guess at anything? Someone smelly? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I've, got, I've got his smelly people. <laughs> Bro, that was actually a wild yeah, piece. Was so good. Pe people slurping, people eating loudly. And what's my one at home, in our home, that I am hating right now? Hygiene, like clean, cleanliness. Something to do with cleanliness. Yeah, you, you guys are just Dishes. Sort of, yes. Dirty kitchen. And what is the thing that's on the bench right now? <laughs> Dishes. Empty bottles. Yes, empty <laughs> water bottles. Oh, that's good, man. Oh, no, I'm actually hating those empty water bottles. And we don't, have, we don't have the water fridge at the moment, so me yeah. and Zach have about 13 <laughs> bloody pump bottles in the yeah. fridge. Yeah. <laughs> that's a bit of a hate yeah, of the process. Yeah, so that's that. So, you want another one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. that's. We'll go one each. That's one each. Uh, who's my favourite singer band at the moment? Jake. Uh. <laughs> Teeks. Uh, no, no, just don't wrong, Mum. No, no, don't, don't, don't say no, it. Uh, no, don't sell it to him. No, I do like Teeks, but he wouldn't be my favourite at the moment. Zach, Stan Walker. No. Oh, is it a band? Oh, yeah. We know them? Well, no, not a band. It's a male singer. Zach. Oh, no. You brought, <laughs> you brought him into our lives. You brought him Ooh. into my life. Is it Jake did? Give yeah. us a clue, Mum. Give us one more clue. He's coming to, she's coming to Auckland soon. She? He is coming to Auckland soon. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Teddy swims. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, I wouldn't even have oh, got yeah. that, Mum. I know, who, I know who he is. What's his song? Um, yeah, no. Nah, you play not. them all the time. Yeah. You play it all the time. He's actually coming to Auckland soon, so I'd like to go. So. Ooh. That's just a little hint, hint. <laughs> <laughs> Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Wink, wink. He is a bit of mum, though. Yeah, he is. Yeah, no, but you brought him in. But he's probably, I listen to him a lot. Mm. You know, I love lots of music, don't I? Guys? You do. Love my music. Should we do one more? Yeah, one more. Go, go on, go on. Okay, on. so what is my favourite hobby pastime? What do I like? What do I like doing? What's Okay, Jake, reading. <laughs> yeah, I like reading. That's one of them. Yes, you can have that. Travelling. Like travelling, yes. But what's something that I love doing at home? Oh, uh... Zach, I guess decorating, like um, architecture. What? Are, <laughs> no, 
科技<笑><笑> ，interior designing。Yes， 喂，我在哪？怎么 ？Yeah， it is. I've, I've got um, I love a good sleeping. <laughs> uh, upside in furniture and yeah, styling homes. Yeah, yeah. interior. Yeah. Mum, what'd you say? What your dream job? You always talk about would be like an interior designer. I love to do that. Yeah. If the camera could flip, you'd see our you'd see our furniture. Me and Zach always say this. If me and Zach were to live on our own, like it wouldn't look like our house. <laughs> <laughs> even um, at, even when I was living on my own in Bethel, mum sussed out my team a year. <laughs> Yeah. Mum, yeah, yeah no, mum's got a knife. But I do, you know, I do. I love that. I'd, I'd love upcycling furniture and like always look at something. And go, oh yeah, that'll look good in our house. And nah, you got a good, you got a good yeah. eye. I do enjoy that. That's probably my favourite thing, and I would love to do it. Mm. Um, I did an interior design course at a night class when I was pregnant with you, actually, Zach, and when I lived in Sydney, and we did it just for like a term. And I loved it, but I should have got back into it. It was only like a part time, like a night class. Mm -hmm. But、um, it sort of gave me an idea. But I have never really followed my dream. I should, I should do it at、mm. some stage. But、um, yeah, oh, I love that. Happens. I know. Day skins. Yeah. So their dreams are low.、Yeah. Let's um, we're gonna get into your Q and A now. Oh, okay. And these actually questions were given to us by by the Fano, by the Martin family. Yeah. Ah,、uh, so you got、okay. some. Okay. Yeah, we'll we'll actually state who who they're from as well. Um, there's okay, a few questions. Good idea. I'll start. I'll start, start with the first one. Go on in. This was from Ronnie Amy. Yeah, I know which one. What if you were to have a girl? What was going to be her name? A daughter. A daughter. Ah,、uh, daughter. Yeah. So she would have been called Oanuku, which is rainbow. Ooh.、Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I did not know that. that I knew this. Always going to be my little girl's name. So if either of you were going to be girls, that's what a um, that's that's what her name would have been. Ornuku. But、um, Unuku, which is Miss Rainbow, yeah. But、um, I've never really, yeah. I'm just glad I had boys, to be honest. Yeah, I was yeah. just going to ask you, like, yeah. I mean, I'm glad I had boys because. To be fair, you've also got like ten、oh. nieces. Oh, so、blessed. nieces. I guess that's, that's probably I mean. substituted. What you know? That's probably why you feel、But、that I way. I get a really good sense of both. Like I've got you two, and then I've also got all my nieces who are just amazing. All of them, each and every one of them, I've got a different relationship with each one.、Yeah. And they just give me,、um, they give me so much love and so much joy. I love those girls. I love them all very much. Shout yeah. out our cousins. Yeah. yeah, shout out, shout out to the finest. Yeah, shout dude, out to the cousins. Dude, speaking of finest, actually, this is the next question. This one's from the Patsies. Okay.、Um, what is your favorite family memory? And it could be, it could be. Um, family, just、um, you know, just just、okay. us, or could be. I've got lots of、um, favorite memories、um, with us, but I'll do I'll do the one with us would be when we go to Rara Tonga.、Mm. Um, when the three of us go to Rara, it's like our go to place for the three of us to get like a bit of time together away from everything that's going on in our lives.、Mm. We've been like three times now. I yeah. Think. Um, we always go there. We stay in the same place. Edgewater Resort. <laughs> yeah, Edgewater Resort. Yeah, and we just love it, don't we? We have、yeah. such a good time. It's relaxing.、Um, we just we went. I remember the time we went out on the bus. We went to town and we went dancing <laughs>、yeah. at the club. And we got Jacob, <laughs> and we got picked up by the principal of the school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got yeah. taken home. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Stan so, Walker was actually in there. Yeah, Do you remember that? Was, yes, yeah, yes, shout yes. out to so Stan. That was really cool. That was an awesome. I loved that holiday. What about the end of it? Someone, no, that was terrible. Someone couldn't turn on the straight bend. <laughs> someone couldn't hide their shoes. I actually, I well. actually, I actually put the photo in、um, so people can see it. Zaki had a bit、it、of an accident as well. Horrendous! I couldn't believe it. Do you remember, Mum? I remember. I was Mom, on the beach. Mum was、Relaxing. lying on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> For、well, short context, me and Zach got in a motorbike accident. Scooter accident. Scooter accident. Nah, motorbike, motorbike. Yeah, <laughs> we're in Otago Tonga. Mum's relaxing on the beach, you know, having a holiday of her life. Zach walks in like, <laughs> comes over the sea, <laughs> drinks over the thing, and goes, and I went, what? Screaming, man! Oh, but, but hey, you know, my leg was covered in blood. It was actually really bad. It, it was, was very, very bad. bad. Did we go home、bad. early, or lucky we were going home the next day? Yeah, the next day, yeah. yeah. We had a good night. Remember, he was in his room going, no, no, that's not good. Yeah. <laughs> so then I had to jump nah, on the scooter bad, and the chemo. It was bad. Oh, actually, oh, oh, so oh, 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 I'll drop the photo and、um, so people can so people know. And lucky the、happen. flight home wasn't full because he managed to be able to have his leg up on the plane. Oh, that was really so good because it was pretty up. That was all、yeah. the shit. I they get, let you have a whole aisle to yourself, babe. <laughs>、eh? Yeah, because yeah. yeah, it looked pretty brutal and you were you weren't walking very well because <laughs> you couldn't actually bend your leg. So there, that was horrible. But、um, for the extended family、um, holiday, would be our most recent one up at Red Beach.、Um, Boxing Day、mm. and New Year's 2023.、Mm. 
um, to 2024, every single person in our family was there. Yeah. I think we had everybody at some stage over that two weeks, we had somebody, we had everyone in, like Brookie, was, we had Ali and I, so we got engaged. Rare occasion for the Rare occasion. For our, We had for the there quite a few times, yeah. um, which doesn't happen all the time. But, yeah. you know, you stayed over. We just had such a cool time. And this oh, summer was actually beautiful. Jakey and I eh? talk about it in episode two, I believe it is, eh? We yeah, talk about our summer. really cool. And, like, I think. All the memories that we shared, all the mm. the really deep, deep old memories that you had with Papa, Papa and, yeah. and all the people in the family. Ah, oh, that's just it made me realise about you know how long Mum's been gone, and you asking all about yeah, that, about mm. Nella, how beautiful that was, and Her life, I had no hey. idea about some of those mm. things for sure. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. Lot, yeah. that's what we said. It was the biggest learning experience yeah. of 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 the well, modern day, really, good for everybody, because you need to have these memories because you just never know when time's up. You know, mm. you need to be able to. Remember those great times, and mm. she was such a special person. And um, yeah, it was good. I loved all that, and just seeing everybody every day. Oh, yeah, I love that. Like seeing little cool. Luca every day. Yeah, <laughs> up on his little bike and all that sort of stuff. The new generation, little, eh? Yeah, the new generation. Like and then seeing how they hit her in the, you know, in their um, pool, and just beautiful stuff like that. Loved it. Yeah. It was capped off by owls and oh, ice uh, proposing to owls. Yes, eh? remember because that happened on like the second. We all came it back. On, I think New Year's Day that mm. morning, yeah, and we we're all like crying. And we had like a bit of a celebration. We made it all come together. Mm. See, that would probably be my my um, nah. memories. But those two are. Oh, that's, oh, cool. oh, oh, that's a good answer. Yeah. That's cool. Mm. You go. Um, you go next. Question. Yep, I'll go next question. This was from Nadia and Mims. Yeah. It's been the most challenging thing being a single mother for to me and Zach. Mm. Oh, um, yeah, I would say for me it was financially. Um, like being worried that, you know, how we were going to survive on our own sort of thing. But, um, and also because I'd actually been a stay-at-home mum, I actually worked school hours and I just thought that I could get you guys to all your sports and, mm. you know, all your, um, you know, um, school activities and stuff. So for me, it was actually financially, how am I going to do this? So I actually, um, I wanted to go back and work full time mm. so I could support us properly. So I ended up having to go back to university and I did a diploma in social practice for that year. And um, and just so that I could be um, suitable for the workforce again, mm. get back into a, a decent paying job. And um, so I did that course for a year and it was tough because I still was having you two. Um, mm. Lucky we had amazing family and friends that would always help me out. But I, I would study at night when you were asleep. Um, those assignments were next level because I hadn't been at school for so long. Mm. So it was all that sort of stuff. So that was probably, um, that would be my biggest struggle. But then we made it. We just did it. Like, you know, got a job, um, worked with the family, you know, family helped us out. And then you guys just grew up and then it was a lot easier. But yeah. Financially what is, was my scariest thing. I thought, how am I going to do this? Yeah. But you do, you find a way. And you, when you have amazing family support, like we did, um, you couldn't, you know, you couldn't miss it. So mm. it's good. It makes me quite emotional thinking about that. Like, yeah, it was what, hard. What it's you've hard. done for us. Hey, that's what we were just mentioning it before. Like we always... Like you always made, made where we always made do, you know, we always yeah. had, there was always a Kai provided, yeah, you, you know? know. And and I think, um, yeah, you never went without anything. No, nah, I, I made sure of that. Like I always made sure of that. I always made sure that, you know, I owned my own home. We had our, we always had a roof, even though we did move around quite a lot because just struggles, you know, with things like that. But we always had our own home. You always had a beautiful room. You always had, always made sure you had everything. Mm -hmm. Um but then we also had my dad and Auntie Betty and stuff like that who would actually help when I couldn't afford to do things. They mm. would always come to the party and help us, you know, with mm. like rugby league boots or rugby boots or whatever, you know. Yeah. You always had the best. And, you know, I probably went without lots of things in that time, but that's what you do as a mother. I think mm. it's your kids should always come first. And mm. for me, it was a no-brainer, really. Just always put you guys first and off we went. Is there a part of you, Mum, that's looking forward to being a nana? Can't wait for that. <laughs> I'm absolutely hanging out for that. Can't wait. You'll be hanging out another. I'm gonna be, I know. <laughs> I know. I know that, and that's actually okay as well because. Nah, it's maybe five you know, years for Zeki. Hey. Oh no, I don't actually think it's going to happen anytime soon. But I actually can't wait for it. Maybe nine months for Jakey. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon if it's even anybody, it would be Jake. I always said this all the time. I was always like, if anyone's going to give me a grandbaby, it's going to be Jake. But anyway, I'm not sure about that. Do you think you're going to get a, um, a, a granddaughter or a grandson? You don't mind. I don't care. I, just a healthy, you have a, beautiful baby. Yeah. I just hope your partners are just amazing and they don't mind 
me being there all the time taking this baby. <laughs> Mum would, would be a good mum would be a good nana, eh? Oh bro. Oh yeah, I can't wait for it. I actually can't wait for mom's it. Mum's gonna ditch us, it'll be like, see ya son. Yeah. You know? <laughs> no, I can't wait for that next part of my life, to be honest. It's gonna be um It'll definitely happen, Mama. Oh, it's yeah, just... no, I know. And, and when the time's right, I want you guys to be in a committed relationship, hopefully. And, mm. you know, you've got mm. beautiful people and you've got, you know, and we all get on really, really well so we can all be in each other's life. That's that's probably my biggest thing that I'm scared about, to be fair. Yeah. Um, because we're all really close. The three of us are close as. And so I want us, I'd like these, you know, whoever you have in your life, that they accept me and... Mm. Mm. Love our relationship because I don't even want that to change. And, of course, it's going to change. I mean, it's already changing because we're all growing up, aren't we? And we're all doing our own thing. And, yeah. you know, we don't sort of get to spend as much quality time together anymore, which is, you know, but when we do, it's freaking awesome and we have mm. a good laugh. And mm. you know. Just need to make uh, that effort, eh? Make the time, going. You know, yeah, I think mm. we're going to. But that's okay. We do. We do. And yeah. that's what we're doing today as well, you know, we're. Got everyone coming over for yeah. lunch yeah. and for his birthday, and then we're all going out. You know, so you know we do we do do really well. I think. Oh, I even just hearing that makes me so f- proud to be a Martin. Yeah, um, same. <laughs> final question, Mumsy, and we ask. Well, it's a question that we want to ask all our guests: is what would you say if you had a conversation with your younger self? If you had to give her some advice. Doesn't even need to be advice, just a cordial in general. What would be the mm. the piece or the piece of advice or the conversation you'd want to have with your younger self? I would say enjoy the journey. Like really enjoy your time. Whatever you're doing, it might be really tough. Mm. You might be going through some really tough time, but take that as a lesson and 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 learn from it. Um, it's not always going to be easy. Life can be really hard. Mm. But if you can see something at the end of that tunnel, you just go for that and go for that goal and go for that dream and like just love freely and cry and mm. take that day off. Take yeah. that day off if you want to have that day off. If you need some time to like rest and, you know, fill your heart up again, you take that day off and just, yeah, and just love freely and mm. always tell people that you love them. Mm. Make time for those people because I tell you what, time has gone so fast. Like look at you two now. I say to people, I've got a 25 and 21-year-old. Mm. What the heck? Yeah. And it I'm is like, crazy. You know, our next change of life is, you know, it's changing. So, yeah, just that's what I would say. Enjoy the journey. Enjoy your life. Yeah. And I think Jakey and I mentioned it quite a lot. There were he even mentioned it today before you hopped on in that uh, one of our biggest shapings or what we were so privileged to have growing up was the ability or we received a lot of love yes. from, from you from both sides of our family to be fair Mm -hmm. everyone we were surrounded by a lot of love and that's why i think has contributed to us now being very very um open to love and i guess reciprocating like now to show love you know to give love we do we all show love like obviously we have our bad days too like um, but we know we can have i can have a cry with you boys and you can give me a hug and I always feel a hundred times better or, mm. you know, we all have bad days and we all know when we're having a bad day, not to sort of like say too much at that stage, just, you know, all come together when we can. But yeah, no, we, we, we show love and we receive love and we, we, we know how to do, we always cuddle, we always make time for that. And that, that's really important. A lot of families don't have that. Yeah. That's so what I mean. Very, very we are great for us in a close yeah. day. And that's our extended family as well. That mm, 100%. Really yeah. Mm, so it's it, honestly one of the biggest um, yeah. blessings. Blessings. Of, very, very lucky to have mm, that. And uh, sure. I'm very blessed to have that as well. Yeah. You spoke beautifully today, mum. You did well. In oh, conclusion though, mum, in conclusion, we do, um, have a couple of uh, little surprises for you. Oh, yeah. Gosh. Well, this episode will be dropped on. <laughs> this will, this Day. episode will be dropped on. Oh, actually, we're speaking of. What's the best? Uh, what's the best gift? Oh, yeah. You think you've ever oh. received? And we, Jakey and I, brought it up. Um, oh. And it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be Mother's Day. It can be. Um, you need because you, know, you you both actually buy me pretty nice presents. You always think about what you're going to get me. Um, when when they were younger. Oh, those are two. That's yeah, so this is two. That's a beautiful so this, polo and that's a beautiful uh, <laughs> necklace. This will probably be one of my no, friends. I do love this one, and they've got Mum engraved on the back. This was a Mother's Day probably a few years ago now. It's mm. Karen Walker one, isn't it? Yep. Um, Mum's engraved on the back. I love this. Cherish this very very much. I don't ever take this one off. Um, you've always bought me beautiful candles. Always bought me candles. <laughs> there we are. There we there are. It is fun. Uh, there we are. Told you. Yeah. And we've got a lot of, and I love candles. Like if I'm having, if I want to just have, you know, I don't like big lights on. I always like candles and lamps, don't I, guys? So mm. we have that. 
Um, I think Christmas this year would have to be um, the most recent present was what you got me with Jaxie's photo, oh, by your portrait, yeah. and then you got me her Ponamo. So mm-hmm. Jax is our family dog. Jax is our way, dog, right? yeah, who we lost in November, who um, it's actually been traumatic. The last five months has been really tough without her, hasn't it, guys? Mm-hmm. I mean, I've, and I've probably been feeling it a lot, but having that photo of her is just beautiful with her lip up and all that. And then this, mm. um, I want to get this restrung so that I'm really worried about because it sometimes falls off its little things. I'm going to get that restrung, but probably these, this necklace, this and that photo of Jack's is probably, and also all my candles I've got. Cause I always used to say to them, don't spend lots of money on me. Yeah. And then you'd make cards, which was just beautiful. Or Jake's even made me a Pahutakawa canvas, so I've still got it. And she's still in the house, eh? Yeah, it's, and I love it and keep that. And I've got a, you know, they've each got a trinket box full of all their stuff from yeah. from when they were young. Primary so. days, eh? Yeah, and I've kept lots of the stuff that I like. Lots of it I was like, I'm going to get rid of that. But some of it was beautiful and I've kept them for you guys forever to check, so. Well, for today, <laughs> we got a, we got we got two things. And honestly, Mum, I'm a little bit disappointed in you. And I just want to. Oh, no. <laughs> so my mum says, uh, hey, guys. Can you please give me this um, this certain book? I wanna I wanna read this book. The next day I go out and I I purchase oh. I purchase a certain book. <laughs> oh. That day after this, my mum <laughs> said I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait. And so I I just wanted to still show you that I I, I still went how oh, Jake and I. Oh yeah. Um, Julie Bailey, Judy Bailey, yes, yes, um, yes. So I'm gonna have to take that back now because you've already you've already no, got one. No, no, no. We'll take my one back. We'll keep this one because I'd love you to write in it for me, actually. And like, okay, but yeah, she, that's exactly the book. I, um, it's 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 <laughs> it's being happy about aging. That's what the book's about. Yeah. Evolving. And uh, growing your hair out, you know, so you can naturally go grey and, and all that sort of stuff, which is what I'm trying to do at the moment. But um, My mum's never said, uh, can you go out, can you go out and buy a book? Yeah. So I was like, oh, well, I'll go out and buy a book. Yeah, and, and uh, um, listen to this. It's really co- got some cool stuff. The second, the second uh, gift that we got was uh, we, we know that you wanted to um, watch, watch a theatre show, a live theatre show, and there's a show that's getting cr- uh, created at the moment called... Uh, I love you, G from Massive Theatre. Uh, shout out to to all the boys. Shout out to Sam Scott, who's who's directing it, and uh, we got you a ticket a ticket to that. So, oh, look at it! Um, that's it. You, Support boys. Theatre. Happy Mother's Day. I know it's in like a but month. See but... what I mean? You're always spoiling me. I love you, G. That sounds cool. Mm. Is. It'll be a cool little. It'll be out. It'll be a uh, yeah. So oh, I got a ticket for the three of us. Mm. Yeah, in three oh, weeks. So that sounds so good. Yeah. Love it, love it. Thank you so much. Happy Mother's Day, Mumsy. Happy Mother's Day, Mama. <laughs> you always spoil me for well, um, we'll And this, this episode will be will be dropping on Mother's Day, so you'll get the there'll be like a nice little little cute little gift as well. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, Thanks, we'll boys. conclude there. That concludes us team data. Episode eight final. No, Thank I just you. wanna say something before we conclude. I yeah. just wanna say, Mama, I know we're going um we all like getting a bit older, going through, you know, we're all like, you know, living life. Yes. And I don't get a chance to say this enough, but I love you and we're grateful. Me and Zachy are grateful to have you. I love you. And we always got you. Oh, you, you spoke do. well today as well, Mama. Thank you. I know this was probably a bit of out of your comfort zone, eh, Mom? But it's out of, very much. Out of very the much, comfort zone but, thing. But I actually feel quite privileged to be welcomed, you know, to be asked to come on the show. <laughs> 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 right, no, because a lot of people have been saying to me, well, when are you going to be on? And I go, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's not my show. It's their show. I can't wait for, for the world yeah. to see it now. I know. I just say thank you well, for having me. Because now they're going to see uh, a, sh- a side of us, mm. you know, yeah. through you. Mm. And so hopefully they can see a side of them through you and through yeah. us as well. Mm. That's, uh, that's yeah, I love you, Skins. Boys. Love you too. Love you both very much. You love conclude, Zeki. You conclude. That concludes us, team. Episode <laughs> eight, our first wahine on the show, first female guest. We oh, hope you guys gosh. enjoyed. Please uh, subscribe to the YouTube, to the Spotify. Follow at underscore the Martin Show on Instagram, TikTok, and the Martin Show on Facebook. Doing all the plugging because we're terrible at that. But um, <laughs> next episode's gonna be fire. As oh, well. we got a we got a special, another special, special guest coming special on, guest coming on. Uh, for episode nine. And honestly, it's um. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. We're, yes. we're not even talking about it as a final together. So we've got a, a New Zealand icon coming on um, in the next episode. So, yeah. But all love, final. 
Happy Mother's Day again to all the mumsies and all the solo dads. The Martin Show out. What an episode. Happy Mother's Love. Day.